Turn the ignition on and fully open the roof. Remove the sidebar, then pull off the trim. Take a rolled up piece of cardboard and stuff it in the hole. Repeat on the other side. Slightly close the roof. Now don't overdo it, otherwise you'll fuck it up. Keep operating the roof until everything pops out. Now you can undo the drive cable and pull the roof free. Pull the roof peak catch sideways from the roof and don't lose the fucking spring. Keep operating the roof forwards until all of the bits fall out all over the floor. Check out my glorious moustache. Unclip the rear of the drive cable and pull the rest of the shit out. This part is known as a rocker. And this is the hammer. When you reassemble the roof later on, they must go back in this position. Remove the cables by giving them a yank. Eventually you'll be able to disconnect the distance cable. You can now pull the roof from the car and throw it across the room. To disconnect the clips, slide them sideways. They are a massive pain in the ass. Mew 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 mew. You can't buy these parts anymore, so screw you. Refitting the roof is not a one person job. So go and hire a friend, because you've got none. Slide the back of the roof into the center channel. Take the distance cable and attach it to the roof. Slide everything back in and push the roof back slightly. The cable will only go in properly one way round, so don't mess it up. Carefully feed each spar of the roof into the center channel and then insert the hammer and rocker combination, as shown. Connect the front of the distance cable. and then connect the second prong of the drive cable. Go and find that spring you lost, and then insert the front catch portion of the roof. Push the front catch slider into the first channel and attach the front drive cable. You will now be able to use the roof switch to pull the roof back. Remove the cardboard rolls and smoke them.